Hey guys, we're going to do another installment of beekeeping on the cheap. Doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg to do beekeeping. As you can see, I've got an old pallet here. It's hard, hard pine pallet. They're not very easily had. I get about five or six in the spring, find a couple in the summer, and usually around Right before Christmas, they start shipping in all their Christmas stuff, and you'll find them sticking out behind businesses. These guys that pick up pallets to sell back to other places usually get to them before I do. So I'll find 15, 20 of them maybe a year. But I was taking this very last one apart, and I thought, well, I need to do another video on beekeeping on the cheap. These are, they're three-quarter board by five and a half so that's basically a one by six like I said they're hard pine they do have a few knots but you can cut out around them or use the knots like I do I usually make them into feeder shims for feeding cold or uh, feeding dry sugar and pollen sub during the winter or you can rip them to the right depth and make hive top feeders with your rapid feeders but this little tip was shown to me by Keith Baudet. I thought it was pretty neat. I'm sitting over here beating myself to death with a hammer and a pry bar and everything. And he's telling me, get you a two before. Depends on your height. Mine's about four foot tall. All you do is just stick it up underneath. Get right on the edge of the board, right on the other side of it. And just pull up. Sometimes they'll split, like this one's already split a little bit here, so I figure this end's going to split. But I'm not taking, see how easy that came off? I'm not taking a chance of beating myself to death with a hammer. They don't fly up and slap back down, so you don't have to worry about slamming these nails into your hand. It's quite easy, simple. These are wet. They'll have to dry out. You gotta watch uh, letting them get too wet they'll start to cup you now they'll start cupping in this one's been out here oh through maybe two rains quite simple then all you do is just basically once you've got the runners off the back you just flip it over well, let's pull it back so you can see. Pull it back. Put a foot on it. Like I said, some of them are uh, already cracked. This one's got to crack all the way across it. So I'll just take this one in, let it dry out, and burn it in my wood heater. But you kind of get the gist. It's a whole lot easier than sitting there with a hammer. Because this right here used to be my tool of choice, a five or six pound sledgehammer. And you're trying to hold the pallet in place and you're beating yourself to death with it. This is just so much simpler. Guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, beekeeping doesn't have to be expensive. You can find these out behind any of your little shopping centers, buildings that sell. Uh, anything wood some of your big uh, supply chains like Lowe's you'll find them out back have a great day like and share hit that subscribe button